Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today's video, we are trying out the new Good Apple Full Coverage Concealer by KVD. I picked up two shades from Ulta the other day. So that's what I got going on today on my face. If you want to see how this applies, what I think of this foundation, is it any good for my oily skin, make sure you keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. We up close, we personal, we are doing something with this face. Let's get into it, straight into it. I was in Ulta the other day and I picked up this KVD Good Apple Lightweight Full Coverage Concealers. And of course, you all know I picked up two shades. I usually try to get my skin tone shade along with the highlight shade. So the two shades I picked up is 173 tan and 177 tan they were 28 dollars and i was surprised my altar had it because it's a small altar so they usually don't get like new releases right away but they actually had it so i was surprised so let's see get all the pigment without the weight KVD's Iconic Good App on Foundation is now a concealer for all skin types. Undetectable feel with unforgivable coverage for under eyes and beyond. Designed with under eyes in mind, the applicator mimics your fingertips for precision. It comes in 32 shades. We're on Ulta's website. They have 32 shades. My shade, let's see what my shade is. Let's see. So 173 is for tan to deep skin with neutral terracotta undertones. And then 177 is for tan to deep skin with cool neutral undertones. So let's jump right into it, y'all. It shouldn't take long at all. So... Let's go with my foundation shade first, 177. I am not a fan of the foundation. I'm not going to get on here and act like I like the foundation. It's a pass for me. But this is the bottle. Very cute bottle. Very cute packaging. The wand has a slant to it. If you can see. So I guess that's what they mean when they say that you can really get under your eyes. So that's 177. I'm going to go ahead and do that first, that part first. I'm going to just put some dots on my face. No smell. Mm-mm. Not a lot comes out on this uh, applicator either. And I'll take a dense brush to blend it out. Shade 173 to highlight with. I can already tell you right now, this concealer for me is way better than the foundation. Way better. So this is the highlight shade, 173. Not too much. Let's go ahead and highlight way better. And this highlight shade is not too bright. 
I was trying not to go too bright because y'all know sometimes I can get in my head that I want to be looking like a light bright. And then I changed my mind. The applicator is nice. It's precision like it says. You don't have to do all that work to try to get in those areas. That's for sure. Hmm. Okay. Wet and Wild Multi-Stick. I need to hurry up please. I don't want it to dry too much. I'm gonna try with this little, I forget what collection, The Simpsons Makeup Revolution brush. It's a foundation brush, but I'm not gonna with it. Okay, I'm gonna see the coverage. The coverage is there. The coverage is all the way there. And I'm gonna set it with this beauty beauty bakery and plantain powder. Just because that's what's right in front of me right now. And I prime my face with my normal She Glam Wet n Wild paint pot. I didn't go in all to looking for that. But as I was browsing, I don't know why it crossed my mind. When I asked the sale associate, did they have it? And sure enough, they had it. So that was a sign. I was supposed to get it. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. Okay, I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever Y505 powder to dust this away to set my face. I always get powder in my eyebrows. And I use this Juvia's Place, the Warriors 2 palette, and Kufori, that brown shade in the middle. I'll take that and use that as a blush bronzer. This hair is getting my nose smooth. And I'll just use this Sephora Makeup Setting Spray, 16 hour transfer proof, to set my face. Hi guys, so I am back and this is the completed look. I can tell you right now, I am already loving it. It does not feel tight on my skin. And it doesn't say if it was a matte or radiant finish crease resistant no cakeful 
no cake full coverage infused with apple extracts to help nourish skin so the finish to me looks matte but as you can see my skin is looking good I love it. I wasn't going to do a wear test, but I'm going to do a wear test just so we can see how this holds up. But y'all know I'm a little bit biased because I enjoy concealers way more than I enjoy foundations. I'll pick up a concealer in a minute and just use that. So, yeah, but I'll definitely do a wear test for you guys. So, what time is it? It's 718. So I wear this for a couple of hours, come back, let you guys know if it's settled in my lines. I don't really have any creasing like underneath my eyes, but we'll see. But so far, just off the initial application, I love it already. So I'll be back. So the time is 6.37, so... 11 and a half hours almost close to 12 hours worth of wear and this is how my face is looking just came from the gym so not bad right take my little brush y'all know the routine powder it down blot it see how it looks eyebrows so this is how my face is looking am i impressed yes i am <laughs> yes i am it still looks so flawless on my skin my skin looks flawless y'all already know i love concealer if i could just throw on concealer and powder every day that's what i'll do so <sighs> i'm about to say something about this concealer and what month is this this is february and right now, I feel like this is the best or going to be the best concealer of 2022. Because right now, I see absolutely nothing wrong with this concealer at all. The perfect shade. I think I got the perfect highlight shade. The perfect foundation shade. My skin has a little uh, hue to it. A little radiance, radiance to it. But it's nothing that I'm like, oh, I'm Ollie, I'm a grease ball. No, it looks like I live, I breathe, I just look. It just looks good. <laughs> it just looks good. So let me know if you have tried this out and what are your thoughts on this concealer. But right now, just looking in the mirror, just looking at. I wonder if you can see. Like, it has increased it. It just looks good, if you can see it. See my face? My smile line are starting to crease a little bit, but it's not. it didn't settle into my smile lines with my sponge. It didn't settle into my smile line, so that's going to happen. But other than that, this looks good, and it's a winner for me. So, if you like today's video, guys, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.